using eCognition for image classification is, is a considerably different piece of software compared to what we're looking at when we're using Envy. This is because the idea behind eCognition is that it's an object-based image analysis software as opposed to Envy where we're looking at per pixel classifications. Now the, the main difference with this is that with the per pixel classification we're looking at individual spectral values of pixels whereas with the object based classification we look at grouping pixels together based on similar properties first and then creating a classification based on those groups of pixels. So the first stage that we usually go through in well, while we're doing object-based image classification is to cut up the image into individual segments or objects of pixels of similar values. So I have here on the left hand side a world view image being displayed with a standard red, green, blue colour composite and I've already loaded a rule set that's going to create some of these segmentation examples to have a look at. The first one we're going to look at is perhaps the simplest option here and that's the chessboard segmentation. So I'm just going to run that one and I can now view the output of that segmentation and you can see what it's done is it's basically chopped up the image into these individual squares or grids and each, each square has the same number of pixels in it. So if we look a little bit closer we can see the individual objects that have now been created. Now, As I click on each of those objects you'll see information about the objects change. So the information that's, that's in this listing at the moment is just looking at the spectral values and there are mean spectral value that's been averaged over each of those, those objects that have been created there. So you can see that the objects that have been created using the chessboard segmentation are based purely on a count of a number of pixels grouped together as opposed to any spectral or spatial information because the groups of the, the objects here are all exactly the same size and they're just repeated one after the other. So we zoom back out. What we can look at here is if I turn off the, the outlines of the individual objects and we can have a look at the mean view that's created by, by these objects. So you can see it basically looks like you've zoomed in a little bit too much onto a lower spatial resolution image. But now the idea is that you then go in and attempt to classify those groups of pixels. So we go back out to our world view image and I'll reset that segmentation. This time we're going to try the quad tree segmentation. So I'm going to run that one. This one takes a little bit longer and incidentally you can look at the length of time taken for each of the segmentations in the process tree. So for example the, the chessboard segmentation has taken 0.34 of a second whereas the quad tree has taken 8 seconds. Now if I switch on the outlines of the segmentation that's been produced by the quad tree you do see quite a lot of black there because it's created a, a lot more individual objects than the chessboard segmentation. So let's have a zoom in and have a look at exactly what's occurred here. So you can see there's a mix of sizes of objects. They're still based on a square, so they're still square groupings of pixels, um, but, but where, the, where there's more detail in the image, the, the segmentation has been cut up finer. So if we zoom back out and if we have a look at chopping, taking off the outlines and having a look at the, the mean view. So I'll just toggle between the mean view and the pixel view there. We see we lose a little bit of resolution. Um, and if we have a look in, in a lot more detail, you see there's some areas where you've got objects that are larger. If I switch the outlines back on, you see these objects that are larger, so they're having a more averaged pixel view and some objects that are a lot smaller so you get a lot more detail in those areas. Now the last one that I'm going to do is to have a look at the multi-resolution segmentation. This one takes a little while to run so you're going to execute that one. So you'll see the multi-resolution segmentation has finished running now and it's taken just over a minute to do that. If we switch on the objects now you'll see they're very different compared to the quad tree and the chessboard segmentation objects. 
So these are these objects are based a lot more on the spectral values and th they will conform to different boundaries of, of features in your image a lot better. That's that's what we hope anyway. So you'll see some objects that are long and skinny, some that, some that are shorter and rounder and have a little bit more detail than others. If we have a look at the at the object mean view of, of that image, you'll see that you can you can see I guess some of the features in the image they they are definitely more averaged out, but you can the the form of different features is starting to become a little bit clearer, especially in comparison to the chessboard view. So that's just a quick rundown on some of the segmentation examples. There's there are plenty more segmentations, and you can refine the size of objects, the, the different bands that go into making the segmentation, etc. There's there, there's many options that you can choose from.